uh, since my my diet, I, I eat a lot of salads and a lot of cucumbers, and I hate the skin on cucumbers. Uh, it has a really bitter taste, so I always peel the cucumbers. And this is my Rada peeler that I've had for a long time, but it's been a great peeler. But it's starting to have like dull spots. And uh, the sharpest part is like on the end, so I, I tend to use this end of it more. Well, I have a... Uh, I've never done this, and I don't know if it's possible, but I have a sharpener, and uh, I'm going to run this down there, and the next time I peel a cucumber, I'll know, and I'll let you know, if this actually made a difference, and uh, I'm going to have to do a better job of cleaning this off. That doesn't look very sanitary. So uh, let me get to, uh, get to rubbing on this and see if I can bring it back to a decent edge. And uh, next time I peel, maybe I can get my wife to film if this works. If it doesn't, you'll never see this video. See ya when I'm peeling. Well, I didn't think I would show you any more until I was peeling, but I wanted to show you it definitely does work. Uh, can you see? Let me get this just right in light. Can you see how shiny the edge is? That's where, uh, that's where I sharpened it. And there's definitely high spots and low spots on this. I mean, these are not, you know, precision instruments, but uh, they're definitely hand sharpened. I think that's going to be a, a a real improvement. Okay, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you at the cucumbers. All right, we're fixing to see if my new sharpened uh, peeler works. Before, it would only peel on the very end here, so I had to, like, only peel on this end. So let's see. Oh, it's, like, brand new. So where'd you get that? Uh, of all places, a gun show. <laughs> yeah, there was a guy selling Rada cutlery there. And uh, that's the guy that gave me bagfuls. I mean, he would stand there all day and peel stuff. And at the end of the day, he gave me like two huge bagfuls of uh, peelings for the chickens. Very good. I like that. So uh, it definitely works. Definitely works. So if you don't have a uh, sharpener that will fit in there, just turn your uh, your block on its edge and use the edge of it. Thanks for watching. Drop a little food on your shirt and you're everybody's friend. <laughs> that a good shirt? Dickie's shirts taste good? <laughs> I just delivered a, a tiller and uh, headed back to my house, uh, sort of taking the southern route. I just wanted to show you Lake Bistino, the uh, the dam. It's uh, all new. This is Lake Bistino here, and I'm on the southernmost portion of the of the lake, and, and it's spelled <coughs> I think it's spelled B I S T E N E A U or somehow Bistino and the nearest town would be Ringo I live at the northern end of it actually uh, Dorchie Bayou is what I'm close to and Dorchie Bayou feeds Lake Bistino here's the runoff and here's the lake
that away about 20 miles. Just crossed into Bienville Parish and the next town is Ringgold.